If you guys are trying to take your training to the next level and you wanna increase your speed, your power, your conditioning, then you gotta check out Phil Daru's eight week heavy hitter boxing program. I'm telling you guys right now, there's no Man, joke. shout out to Dante's oh, Boxing Nation. DBN Nation, uh, of course. Support DBN Nation. You hear it from Floyd Money Mayweather. It's Terrence Crawford, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. This is Deontay the Bronze from Wilder, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Hi, you're, you're watching, watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Nation. Woo! Hey. Yeah. <laughs> if you know, you know. Now, nah, if you didn't know that boxing is one of the most politically corrupt sport in all sports, then this news right here should prove it. Now, Eddie Hearn came out stating that he trying to make Dillian White versus Hunter or Pavekin as a co-main event for Andrew Ruiz versus Anthony Joshua in Saudi Arabia. Now, if you're saying what's the big deal, it's because Dillian White got busted for steroids and was approved by the British Boxing Board of Control in the UK to fight a clean fighter, Oscar, while Dylan Yu White has steroid in his system. And the testing agency, Yukata, they informed Eddie Hearn, Dylan Yu White, and the British Boxing Board of Control. Even Dylan Yu White's own trainer wasn't informed about this whole situation. And they held a meeting without the public knowledge and to make matter worse, they didn't inform Oscar, the fighter who's going against the drug cheat, Dillian White. And in the process, they did not inform the public, nor the boxing fans, or the WBC. And if you think this is as shady as it gets, then you're highly mistaken. Because even fight night, Dillian White wear a pair of gloves that he wasn't supposed to, that the commission didn't approve. He brought his own gloves. And to make matter worse, the commission turned down a request from Oscar team to test the gloves because they felt they were loaded and they didn't test the gloves before nor after the fight. I mean, if the gloves aren't loaded and there's nothing wrong with the gloves, why not test the gloves? And if the commission did not approve the gloves before the fight, then why Dillian White was approved to fight with gloves that wasn't approved by the commission? It's just too many fishy things going on. And they seem to be all in this together. So that being said, even with all these advantages, Dillian White got knocked down, I believe, in the 11th round. And Oscar almost knocked him out. And it was a very tough, close fight. So I say that to point out the corrupt that's going on in the sport of boxing. And that's why Ruiz was hesitant to fight in the UK and outside of the US because even UK own Dylan e. White claimed that Anthony Joshua be getting supplement exemption. So if that's the case, he'd be having hell of an advantage fighting in the UK, right? Now that's why Ruiz never wanted to fight outside of the US. It's due to them reasons. Now the reason I brought all that up is because that same week, two fighters died in the ring for taking too much punishment. So if Eddie Hearn cared about the sport of boxing, he will at least have informed Oscar about Dillian White testing positive for PEDs and finding Oscar a replacement opponent in the process since he found out about that information a couple days before the fight, I believe two to three days before the fight. So he had time to do so in order to save the card while suspending Dillian White in the process since that's his second time getting busted for PEDs. He got suspended, I believe, in 2014 for taking PEDs. So since that's his second time, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Dillian White should be at least suspended for a year or two. However, Eddie Hearn went out loud and bashed Big Baby Miller when he got tested positive for steroids, claiming that he want to save the sport of boxing. He care about his fighters' health, et cetera, et cetera. But when it comes to Big Baby Miller and Oscar, he switched his tone. He's all for the fighter that cheated. So we all know Eddie Hearn, the only thing he care about is the money in his pocket. He could care less about the health of the fighters. He could care less about his reputation. He could care less about being consistent. Matter of fact, he contradict himself every time he's on an interview. All he cares about is the money inside his pocket. 
Now he claiming that he want to make Dillian White versus the Cheetah Pavekin. Another fighter that got busted for steroids ahead of his bout against Deontay Wilder, where that bout got canceled because Povetkin tested positive for PEDs. He also tested positive against Stavern, I believe, where Stavern pulled out and they gave Povetkin a replacement opponent where Povetkin ended up knocking him out while he was on steroids. Now, Eddie Hearn want to give Povetkin the drug cheat another opportunity after he gave Povetkin an opportunity to fight Anthony Joshua. To duck a Deontay Wilder at the time, Deontay Wilder accepted AJ $15 million request to fight him in the UK. AJ sent Deontay Wilder a low blow offer of $15 million to fight him in the UK. Deontay Wilder accepted it. Next thing we know, Pivekin is the mandatory for AJ and AJ have to fight him next because Wilder and AJ took too long to negotiate. We all know Eddingham most likely paid the commission to do that little favor for him, but I just point out how a drug cheat is allowed to fight another drug cheat. So if that's the case, I got a better scenario for y'all and a better fight for y'all. How about Big Baby Miller versus Dillian White in the UK or on the undercard of Ruiz versus AJ? Since they both got tested positive for steroids their last fight, the only difference they didn't allow Big Baby Miller to fight AJ while being on steroids. However, they allowed Dylan Y. White to fight Oscar, a clean fighter, while Dylan Y. White was on steroids. And that's the corrupt thing that's going on in the sport of boxing. And Eddie Hearn, British Boxing Board of Control, and Mashroom, and Dylan Y. White are all in this together. And that's why they should be investigated for that. Now, if y'all wonder what happened to the B sample, I made a video on that like a month ago. It haven't even been tested yet. Keep in mind, it only takes a day or two to test the B sample. However, they already know the B sample is dirty. They just trying to find a cover up for Dillian White. Eddie Hearn already came out stating, well, if the A sample is dirty, most likely the B sample is dirty. He's already trying to let us know that, hey, if the B sample comes out dirty, don't be surprised. And they probably already had the B sample result like a month or two ago. They just never released it to the public because they know if they do, they're going to receive a lot of backlash for allowing Dillian White to hop in the ring with a clean fighter while he being dirty. Now, that being said, obviously, Dillian White is not getting suspended if this fight get made between him and Pavek and O'Hunter because he fought not too long ago in june i believe so it haven't even been two months and he's already getting a fight so that being said it looked like dylan white is not getting suspended it's looking like dylan white is getting away with murder literally how can you fight while you being dirty and not getting suspended this is unheard of talking about the corruption in the sport i mean you have the uk they have such a corrupted boxing program and the British Boxing Board of Control doesn't even do anything about it. In fact, they support it. And I don't know if Eddie Hearn is paying some people or not, but whatever he's doing, he needs to be investigated because obviously there should be no fighter allowed to fight while he's dirty. It's not like you playing sports. It's not like you playing basketball where you're not hitting somebody in the face. You're hitting somebody in the face constantly while you using some type of supplement to gain an advantage. And there's rumors that certain fighters get supplement exemption, like I stated. That's why the UK boxing program needs to be investigated. It's super duper corrupted over there in the UK. Now that being said, Drop your comments below. Subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't and listen to Eddie Hearn or the casual fans. Follow Luna Tune Boxing for the funniest boxing memes. Follow me at Aki TV on Instagram and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. All the links will be in the description box below. Click on the notification bell to get notified every time we go live and to be continued on the next episode of Aki TV. 
Peace and we outie.